Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, Cosmetic Chemist and Trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make an anti-hair loss serum. Now, before we get started, I do need to really importantly point out that we cannot actually claim anti-hair loss or the prevention of hair loss. This is not allowed for cosmetic claims. Brands can, however, claim that it reduces hair fall and can strengthen the hair and also add volume to it. Now let's get into the lab. Now, here are all my phases. The star ingredient I'm gonna to use today is my, the Anagain Active from MyBell. This is gonna help with the hair loss. It's got really good efficacy data, which I will show you and go through later on in the video. Okay, so now with the hair serum, we wanna make something that's not gonna be all claggy and sticky on the hair, and you also don't want it to be greasy. So I am gonna make a nice light feeling hair serum. Okay, so I'm gonna add my phase A ingredients together. I've chosen to go with propane dial as my humectin as this is nice and light. It's not sticky and tacky like glycerin. I'm gonna give that a stir. And to this, I'm going to add um, some Sepi Max Zen. This is going to create a nice stable serum. Now this won't hydrate straight away, so I am gonna stir it to disperse and wet the polymer, and then I'm going to cover it and leave it and come back to it. Okay, now that my serum is hydrated, I'm just gonna give that another stir. As you can see, that's turned into a nice clear gel. Now to this, I'm gonna add a small input of a couple of lipids. I have chosen to go with some Dermafil Sensolve. This is a nice, light, long spreading lipid. So this is gonna help with not making the hair serum greasy, but also gonna add some emolliency to it. So I'm gonna add that in there. Now I'm also gonna add in some Sacha Inchi oil. This is going to give the hair um, a bit of shine. So just a small input because it is a natural plant oil. I don't want it to be greasy or heavy. Okay, now for the star ingredient is my Anagain by My Bell. So Anagain works by reducing hair loss by inducing dermal papilla cells to reactivate hair growth. So in the graph here below, the anti-hair loss effect was observed on a very large part of the panel. So there was a decrease of the density of hair in the telogen phase in 85% of the volunteers, which is quite a lot. And there was an increase of the density of hair in the antigen phase in 75% of the, the volunteers. Again, that is quite a lot. So it helps to stimulate hair growth at the root. It prolongs the life cycle of hair. It fully restores uh, the vitality of the hair um, and creates denser hair in just three months. So this works for men and women who are suffering hair loss. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my preservative. I'm also going to add a little bit of polyquaternium 7 just for a little bit of hair conditioning. And just a little bit of tocopherol because I have added a natural plant oil. Okay, now I'm just going to check and adjust my final pH. Now we are just going to cover it and let it sit overnight and we're going to come look at the serum tomorrow. Okay, so this is what my hair serum is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's a pretty good viscosity. It's thick enough that it's not going to run out of the hair when applied or get very messy. Uh, it's not too thick either because we don't want it to become gooey and claggy. It's got a nice light feeling to it. And as you can see here, when applied, it's not leaving like a greasy residue. Uh, it's not sticky either or tacky, which is great. So that's gonna feel really good on the hair. And it also has a really nice soft skin feel. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make an anti-hair loss serum. Now, please remember the most important thing is that we cannot claim hair loss or loss of hair when it comes to cosmetics. This is a therapeutic claim. 
We can, however, claim that it helps to reduce hair fall, it can strengthen and also volumize the hair. If you do need help with your labels and claims, we do have a, a short course in labeling and claims which will help you with this um, and make sure that you comply with all the rules and regulations. So if you're interested, please check out our website or send us an email. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.